Hey there guys, please Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Zoho meeting and what are the ways how we can like use it. So the first thing that you want to do is just simply click sign up for free when you're going to be in Zoho meeting. I'm going to add an email right here and password. Now I agree to terms and service and privacy policy. Try now. Let's just wait until it loads and then we're going to continue and I'm going to show you how you can set, set it up. So let's wait until it loads. And also uh, you will get welcome to Zoho for verification your account, confirm it on your email and verify access to account. And here we go. So how we can actually use it and uh, what you can do. So when you're going to click on home, you will have a meeting or schedule meeting. My recommendation before like doing anything else, first thing first, go to your settings and set, set up everything from language, time format, then also uh, email reminder, auto record webinars, record meeting video. Then you're going to have like manage organizations here. User management that you can like invite other people. Just definitely check all the settings if everything is correctly. And then we can go simply to meetings. So when I'm going to click on a meeting here, <clears throat> I can simply go on the top right and click schedule meeting. And now let's say that I'm going to have it as a title. Mm, I will have schedule meeting, YouTube meetup, and you can have video conferencing, audio conferencing, date, if it's going to be today or different, like let's say Friday, 10 a.m. 30 minutes, host me, participants, and I can simply invite people here, agenda, what we're going to talk to you about, more options, if it's going to be a recurring meeting, recurring meeting is really good if you're going to have it with team, and let's say uh, every Friday or every Monday in the morning, it's like up to you, and then you're going to have like reminder here, reminder is like how... Oh, at what time you're going to get reminded you have a meeting 50 minutes before 30 minutes and audio conferencing you can also use third party audio conferencing services and then what you have to do is just simply click schedule and voila here we are so you got it and you can copy the link and you can like send it to someone so i'm going to copy and paste it name marcus join meeting and session has not started yet. So what I can do, I can start the meeting straight away. And now choose an audio option. This is really important, uh, what you can do and how we can set up the settings and understand the interface. So choose an audio option, computer audio, allow camera, and as you can see, this is me with messy hair. And this is the mic. Then I'm going to choose microphone. And then this is the speaker. So you can also change the camera right here. So I'm going to press continue. And you need to also allow your camera. Continue. If you can have any questions, guys, definitely ask them below in the comments, okay? And now this is the meetup. Okay. So as you can see me, what you can actually do here, when you would go to the bottom left, you see the participants and you can simply uh, find what kind of people are here. What I can do is let's say that I'm going to invite it now and now it will work. Join the meeting. And now let's wait. And someone is joining. So then next to the participants, you can have chat. Oh, here we are. Marcus joined. Look at this. Opa. So we have two people here. And we have two people. I can simply rename uh, the person or mute, mute the guy. 
now I'm going to have also the settings here that you can set up. Screen, start sharing. I can simply start sharing my display. So I can start sharing this, the screen. And then if I would go to the incognito mode. Oh my God, this is what the... Yep, this is happening. So that's what you can do. You can also stop sharing now. Then you can also lock the meeting so no one can like access it. You can start recording on the bottom as you can see. Everything what is happening. I can disable video, I can disable microphone if I want to. So you got really options what you can do. Adding notes here. That's another thing that you can do. And as you can see, I got blocked microphone on top left. I need to allow it. And right now it will microphone will start working soon. And to update the setting, you need to reload it. So on the bottom right, you're going to have the layout. Uh, if you're going to have the active speaker or sideboard that active speaker and on the right side would be people. And then you can also add a full screen and this is pretty much it how you use it. So this is how we can understanding the interface and how we can work directly with Zoho in it um, and that's how you use it so I'm going to click on the bottom right exit yes and meeting close window and that's how we do it right so this is how we can uh, have the meetings on and how we can work with meetings now we're gonna have the meetings you can also start the webinars or you can click on home and meet now and you can just start it straight away. So I'm going to show you also how we can start it straight away. And then we will go to webinars and recordings. So meeting, meet now, video conferencing, computer audio. Okay, mic is working, speaker is working. Continue and then copy link. And then someone can simply uh, join in here. Look at this. And again, Marcus and people can join through the link. And this is pretty much it how we do it, right? So that's pretty much it. Now, when we go further, what you can do, um, you can also start recordings and webinars. So let's look on how webinars looks like. I can go to top right, schedule a webinar. Here I can enter a webinar title. Let's say YouTube video. Add a description. We will learn how to use YouTube. Date, duration, frequency. Next. Co-organizer. You can add someone. Registration. Fields currently present on the registration from uh, name, email address. You can have also multiple ones as address, number of employees, etc. Now, when we go further, you can have engagement here. You can create a first poll and include it to your webinar. So uh, people can ask single choice, multiple choices, start staring, start rating. And that's how you do it. Then press next. Emails, you can customize them. And as you can see, reply to my email address. First reminder email, 15 minutes, 2 minutes, first reminder email, 2 minutes, and then follow up emails. And you can edit every single one of these emails choosing a template. Edit it. Create template name. Registration confirmation. See? Hi, thank you for registering for our webinar. Title, date, and time description. You can edit it if you want to. It's like pretty simple. And that's pretty much it how we do it, right? You can simply start it. If you want to. And here you will like attend this. You can go live, you're recording straight away and people will be right here. And now you can share it, right? So next to the start would be share button, copy webinar link. 
and we will learn how to use YouTube name, email, and people can easily join. So this is pretty much it, how we can work with webinars. And here you would find it, right? Q and a polls and just settings here, computer audio, definitely test it by yourself on some fake, uh, well, with your friend, with your family member, just test it with your fake mm, account or something like fake, not fake account, but fake webinar on which you're going to test the whole process, how it works with the emails and everything, and then go real. Don't go straight away real because like some problems may occur, some obstacles. Uh, so this is how we want to actually do it. And that's my recommendation. How would I definitely do it? And yep. So that's the first way what you can do. And let's just like end the webinar. You can disable video feed, mute audio on the bottom and webinar and webinar. Okay. And then the last thing that I want to show you are recordings. So in recordings, you would find all the recordings that were in the meetings, in webinars. And what I have to do is just simply click play here. And this is how I do it, right? So that's pretty much it. And I don't have camera here on the second one. So this is also how recordings works. Again, I would click on a webinar. And I have the webinar right here. And using the webinar with Zoho is pretty simple. And yep. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.